Welcome to Module 5, which is Chapter 6 of the F. Automated Quantities Manual. This chapter is on F. Takeoff Manager. The objective of this chapter is to introduce you to the functions of the F. Takeoff Manager located on the F. Ribbon. The designer will become familiar with the settings and the options with the report viewer along with the location of the formatted spreadsheets that are delivered with the state kit. The takeoff manager is used to generate quantity reports that can then be linked to the appropriate design file using Autodesk's data link manager. The designer up to this point has used all the F. tools available to place, draw, edit entities with pay items, and this chapter will provide an overview of how Takeoff Manager works. So looking at Takeoff Manager, let's go to the F. Ribbon on the state kit. Now there are no exercises with this module, so it's just providing an overview of the functionality of Takeoff Manager. So under Quantities panel, click on Takeoff Manager. The dialog comes up. And first thing you notice is it behaves like other AutoCAD palettes. If you right click on the bar, you have options for docking and anchoring transparency and auto hide. So let's um, select allow docking, uncheck that because that's always annoying when it docks. The box can be sized for your viewing ease. There are two tabs located on Takeoff Manager. One is Quantity Reports, which is the default one that loads. The other one is Summary Tables. Now, going over Quantity Reports tab, you have Report Extents, which will report all any and all pay items that are contained in the current open drawing. If you select the pull down, you have an option for Quantities by Sheet which opens up a different dialog box, which we will get into in additional modules, which you would typically use the quantities by sheet for traffic plans, where you have to quantify by each individual sheet in a set of plans. So I'm going to hit close for the time being. And notice that everything is grayed out until you go back to the current drawing. Then it opens up. You have extents filtering, which allows you to pick the alignment you're going to run your report off of. And you can either, from a pull down, select the alignment or select box here, where you can select it directly in the file. Now, if we select the alignment that's in this example file here, we see that this opens up, gets populated, and the default is the entire length of the alignment is selected. So if you want to, you can either type in a start or end station if you want to run a report for a segment of the alignment, or you can pick graphically on the drawing itself for the start and end station. For offset distance, the default is infinity. Now you can control left or right if you only want to get a certain amount of pay items within a certain distance of that alignment. This is how you would control that. Now the output options, the include entity manager placed items by default and include non-alignment associated items by default. Those should be set. You shouldn't have to worry about that. That is basically um, a way for takeoff manager to handle legacy objects that were placed using uh, prior versions of the state kit. You have an option to include drainage items. So by default, you're not running any report. It's not going to report anything on drainage unless you select this box. You have an option to include XREF files. So it will pick up any pay item information that is on a loaded XREF file in your drawing. By default, we leave that off so you can run your report basically in your source file. Down here you have pay item filters. 
If you select it, you can select a category, a specific category, to only report that category. So if you wanted to just report concrete pavement only, you would select that box. Now you can also expand it and drill down to the individual entity that you're looking for. So you can uh, select the entire category or select individual entities and you select more than one. Just the caveat using pay item filters is once you select it and you close and you run your report, you need to go back into pay item filters and clear selection because it will not clear it until you tell it to. And the only other button on is the compute takeoff, which obviously will return a report. So for an example, let's go ahead and compute takeoff for everything that's in this file. Notice even though I am in the sod layout here, it's going to return everything that's in the file, whether I'm in the model or no matter what sheet layout I'm in. So this is the report viewer. And the first thing you do along the bottom here is you have a select report type. Typically, if you didn't have an area, which is the first report, because it's alphabetically listed, you it would be blank. So you would come down and change the report type to count, linear, or volume, depending on what is contained in your file. So this particular file has an area report. It gives you the pay item number and it gives you, it's broken down into, for example, the sidewalk here has two separate locations for the sidewalk, but it's grouped under one pay item number. It also gives you a quantity total for that pay item number. And if it was multiple pages, you could navigate here to the other sheets. You can print this report. You can export to an Excel file, which is a CSV file, a PDF or Word document. For example, if you wanted to modify something or use this report, you would export it as an Excel file, open it up in Excel, cut or copy, and then paste the data into a preformatted spreadsheet before you linked it into a file. So let's close the report viewer and let's go to the summary tables. Now it behaves similar to the quantity reports. It gives you a choice to select an alignment with the same methods, but it has summary table that you can select from that are preformatted and it will fill in any data automatically into the spreadsheet that you can link. So these are more of the automated reporting types. You have a file output directory that you can select where the report's going. Typically, it would be in your calculations folder in your project. You have the same two options here that are set by default, include entity manager placed items and include non-alignment associated items. Also include drainage items, include extra files, and two additional options here, create corresponding CSV files, which is turned off by default, and open output files, which means it automatically launches Excel and opens that report so you can view it. Now, you can run multiple reports. If you select one, hold your control key down and select the other reports that you want. And when you run it, it opens up its own instance of Excel for each report. So it's not in one open file. It has run three reports. You have three sessions of Excel running. So for an example, let's run a performance turf report. Select the alignment. Select the folder that you're going to. Put it in the calculations folder and scroll down and hit create summary tables. Excel opens, opens up the summary of performance turf 
with the quantities that it finds. It has the station to and from, the side that it's on, the area ID, which in earlier modules you saw how you can navigate to and from with Entity Manager. And on the bottom it has a running total. Now some of the reports that are lengthy in the columns, the new feature or a new feature that it has is it will eliminate all unused columns so you don't have to delete them. Now you may have to delete some rows in the report to get it to fit on 11 by 17 sheet, but that's not an issue. Just keep that in mind that you may have to modify a little modification in the Excel file before you link it. This concludes the module, which is chapter six, F.takeoff manager.